Welcome back everyone. Today behind me I have a Land Rover Discovery 2 that needs a little bit of work. So this Land Rover Discovery 2 needs a little bit of work done which is actually a pretty common thing that needs to happen on these in that the valve cover gaskets have started to leak and they need to be replaced. So I'm going to go through and fix these valve cover gaskets and I'm also going to give you guys some tips and tricks that I've found that typically help when I'm doing this sort of thing. So be sure to stay tuned. So the first thing I do is I take this intake tube out of the way because it's relatively easy to get out and I will be needing to take the intake and slide it around some to be able to get to the valve cover gaskets. So like I said, relatively easy to take this tube off, so let's get to it. Now that the tube is off, I take off the throttle body and cruise control cables. And then these are 13 mil nuts. That one's being a bugger and it's stuck. I actually never had that happen before. But while that is soaking for just a bit, uh, what I also like to do is I take off the emissions tubing. And I do that because it's not hard to take off and it really just saves a lot of space and just something less you have in your way. And then next I can take off these two breathers off the back of the intake. Next we have another breather down here from the valve cover to the intake. And this has one of these the special clamps that Land Rover uses. They're actually pretty pretty simple to, to get off. You just give them a little squeeze. I like to use a small screwdriver. And then you just give it a nice little lift and they come right off. And then they're easy, simple and easy to put back together because then you just squeeze them back together.
Although that's being a bugger to get off, so I'm just actually going to take it off the hose clamp that I know will come off easier. Also take off the throttle position sensor. And also these other emission valves. Also to get the intake off, you do have to remove these two mounting bolts that hold on this EGR valve because they do pretty much hold the intake well intact and you can't you can't move it around without taking these off The next difficult thing you're going to have to do, the next difficult thing you're going to have to do is remove the two top bolts holding the coil pack bracket on, and there are two lower bolts as well that you will need to loosen. If you don't do that, you won't be able to get the intake off. Ask me how I know. So once you do that, and you take out all of these bolts, your intake will be able to just lift right off. All right, and there you have it. The intake is now off. Push the side enough that I'm able to replace the valve cover gasket here. One thing I did have to do is this guy, it's another emissions thing. It just clips in right up here. Just unclipped it. Uh, that gave me enough room for me to shift it over. And you can see that is the bolt I was talking about on the bottom bracket of the coil pack. Um, it just makes it so the coil packs can rock back and forth a bit so you can actually get there. Another thing you're going to have to remember to do when you're doing this is the dipstick, oil dipstick, actually has a Phillips head screw that goes into the side of the valve cover. So you will have to take that off so that you can get your valve cover gasket out. So. Now that I've got that out of the way, it's time to take the valve cover off and replace the gasket.
Well, there you have it. Valve cover is replaced. Time to do, time to do the other side. with the valve cover gaskets on this Land Rover. I hope that what I did here helped any of you who are gonna to need to do it on your own. It's not the easiest job, but it's not terribly difficult if you don't have a lot of experience. So I hope this video was able to help you out a bit, and thanks for watching.